and welcome to Learning Fuzoli's Dialect. This is Lesson Three, PowerPoint version. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to ask and answer the question "Where are you?" If you missed the previous lesson, you can click on the link on the screen, or you can click on the link in the description box. The reason that you might need to refer back to lesson number two because we will be using some of the materials that we learned from that lesson in this lesson. If you are looking for the video version, please check the channel page. PowerPoint version comes out a lot earlier because it takes a lot longer to edit a video than doing a PowerPoint presentation. The first thing I want to talk about is the pronunciation romanization. So you will see three romanization for the pronunciation. The top one is from Chowian Fuzhouanese Dictionary. It is still incomplete, but it's more official. The middle one is my own rotation. I don't know the official romanization, so I use my own rotation. So it's definitely very off the standard. It's just what I think. So please don't quote me on that. I just hope that it might help you if it's、uh, a little bit easier. The bottom one is the invisible one. It's yours. Your own rotation might help more than any of the rotations provide here. So use whatever method that will help you remember how to pronounce the sound. Something I'm doing different in this video is you won't hear me repeat things three times like I did in the previous video. What I'll be doing is I'll be making a video that focuses specifically on speaking and pronunciation. This lesson is kind of like an overview lesson to introduce you to the materials. So what I would do is I would say the phrase in a slow speed first, and then a normal speed. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So to say where are you, we say nu ga dong ne. Another way to say it's nu ga ding ne. So You can say "nu ga de ne" or "nu ga de ne." The difference is the third syllable. It's just different ways to say it, so you can pick whichever is comfortable for you. So, if you remember from lesson two, "nu" means you, "ga" is at, "de ne" all together means where. To answer this question, let's say I want to say that I'm at home, then I say "wai ga." Trolley, why got trolley? Again, from lesson two, we learned why means I got as mentioned previously. Got at trol means home. Le kind of means like inside the house. Trolley together means inside the house. So when you put everything together, why got trolley? It means I'm at home. I want to touch briefly on the sentence structure. So most of the sentence that I use starts with subject, verb, object. That's the format, and it's very similar to Chinese Mandarin, where a lot of the sentence begin with you, I, or other pronouns. So when you don't know what to say, you can always just start with you, I, and then continue your thought from there. So now you need some location to complete that sentence. Library is do. Yu Guan, Du Yu Wan. Police station is Ging Nia Bo, Ging Nia Bo. Restaurant, Si So, Si So. Home, as you already know, Chole, Chole. School, How How, How How. So the journal structure is Wai Ga Location Li. Li means in, so you're in that place. Okay, so let's say you want to say I'm at the police station. I don't know why you would be there, but let's assume that you are there. How would you say that? Try first. I'm going to give you three seconds. Three, two, one. It is. Wai ga ging ya bo li. You could say wai ga ging ya bo, which it's okay, but it's just. It's more natural if you say "ginya boli" in there in that place. The extra mile. I want to include this slide for people that want to learn the extra stuff on top of the primary stuff that I'll be covering. So "nu" has the same sound for female, such as in girlfriend, which is "nu bing nu, nu bing nu." The second one to point out is "at," which is "ga," which has the same sound as "very," such as in "very spicy." We say got nothing, such as this. This dish is very spicy. Zi cai got nothing. If you know Chinese Mandarin, you definitely have a lot more access to different resources. 
And one thing I found out recently is the Fuzhou Hua Zidian Fuzhouese Dictionary. One thing really cool about this is it actually has audio version. It's not complete because I think the people that are working on it they are still developing the resource. But it's still really cool if you want to look if you want to check some words. You have to type that in Chinese. But yeah, they have a lot of awesome stuff in there, so you can check that one out. Okay, so that's all for this lesson. If you want to check out the video version, you can click on the link here. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave in the comment section or email me at tmailbb at gmail dot com. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks and have an awesome day. Bye.